process costing. Now, when we talk about process costing, we are talking about the method of achieving unit cost of a product by tracking the cost of every stage of a process or manufacturing system instead of tracking just the cost of each individual cost or a project or a product. Now, the cost of all the steps are aggregated and then divided by the total number of outputs to determine the cost per unit. For instance, a food spice manufacturing company will monitor and put together the cost of turning the seeds into powder, cost of bottling and packaging stages to divide by the number of outputs to get the cost per unit. Process costing is mainly applied by businesses that manufacture homogeneous or identical products on a larger scale. So when we talk about homogeneous products, we are referring to goods that cannot be distinguished from one another, such as bottle water, biscuits, pens, etc. So these products all receive the same level of activity, that is the same level of material, the same level of labor participation, the same level of overheads in the process, hence they are assigned the same cost per unit. Let's now move on to discuss how to achieve the cost per unit. So the total cost per unit is first put together. This can be either achieved through the absorption or the marginal costing. So for absorption costing, all costs, whether variable and fixed, are aggregated, whereas only the variable costs are picked under marginal costing. Now, after the total cost have been estimated, it will then be divided by the total units produced from the process to arrive at the cost per unit. Let's test our understanding. So the following costs were incurred in the production process of writing pens for the month of May 2015. The materials were $100,000 cost, labor $120,000, variable overheads $50,000, fixed overhead $30,000. The total unit that was produced was $100,000. So we are supposed to calculate the cost per unit under the absorption costing and the marginal costing. So for solution, absorption costing will start with the material $100,000, labor $120,000, variable overhead $50,000, fixed overhead $30,000. Mind you, we are adding every cost that comes into play, the total being $300,000. Now because there was 100,000 units produced, the cost per unit will be $3. That is the total cost divided by the total output units produced. And then the marginal cost then, we are only going to consider the variable cost. So again, we we'll start with materials, which is variable. Labor is also variable, $120,000. Variable overheads of $50,000. Then we sum it up, giving $250,000. Then we divide by the total number of outputs produced, $100,000 arriving at a cost per unit of $2.5. Let's come to process accounts. That is the T account for process cost. So the process account is needed to depict the inflow and outflow of the unit. The cost in care is debited to the process account, whilst the cost of the product, that is the cost of the output, to be transferred out of the process is credited. So it is important to have two segments. One side for the units, others for the amount on both sides of the account. Let's test our understanding. We'll just consider the earlier question that we just solved under absorption and marginal costing. Okay, so the solution under absorption costing was 300,000 total cost and the cost per unit being $3. So when we come to the process account, we'll open the T account. We are supposed to debit the input cost. The input cost was Material unit is hundred thousand, amount is hundred thousand dollars, labor is one twenty thousand dollars, all pertains to the hundred thousand units. The overhead is fifty thousand dollars. You are considering the input. Fixed overhead is thirty thousand dollars. Then we sum it up. The unit will be hundred thousand. The total cost is three hundred thousand. Then we credit the transfer. That is the unit cost times the total output of hundred thousand, giving the three hundred thousand dollars. So both sides will agree. We come to the absorption costing. The total cost was $250,000 from the previous solution we had. The cost per unit was $2.5. So when we open the T account, so we start with bringing the unit and the amount. For the debit side, we bring the 100,000 units for materials 
and the hundred thousand dollars because it's variable then we add the labor one twenty thousand dollars then variable overheads of fifty thousand don't bring the fixed cost here because it doesn't qualify under this type of costing we sum it up hundred thousand units inputted at a cost of two hundred fifty thousand dollars when we are transferring it out so when we talk about transferring we are talking about either transferring it into the warehouse or to the sales department for it to be moved to the customers so the cost per unit estimated was 2.5 dollars at the 100,000 units produced that would be 250,000 dollars there isn't any cost element again so we also sum the credits up giving 100,000 units worth 250,000 dollars